people, justice has been served. And after this, I want you to leave the Bradshaw next. Now, dental assistant Coyote Sachel has pleaded guilty to the stabbing death of 8-year-old Daniel Rowe in June of last year. A murder that sparked national outrage. She was also convicted of stealing the child from Brayton Primary and Infant School in St. Catherine. People don't hear that? Coyote Sachel has pleaded guilty to the murder of 8-year-old Daniel Rowe. Remember, you know, the little boy did say, him see the stepmother come for the picnic. I think him said the stepmother and the father. Make me play the voice note I make on her here. When comment on it and say she and the couple related. She said, Ken, was her father do it? Her father, a policeman, and him do it? So I said, what do you him do it? She said, the mother and the father left for him. Now I'm in the picnic. And something, but the little girl have one brother go break and to with them, with her. So the stepmother and the father went and pick up the child without the knowledge of the mother. But the brother was telling the girl not to go, but then what to her father, them convince her to go. Next thing on the show, them you say, little girl missing. Next thing, one little girl was reported taken to children. So when them go, a little girl. Apparently, a little boy must tell the mother, say, I bet they pick up her in picnic. Anyway, when them sent call him to the hospital, him come, but when he realized that she's not dead, it's like expression on him face, the look on him face. He's like, boom, boom, she's not dead. So cool, but I wash him. Fanny him say, I step outside, little guys, he must, he must, he must, he wash him. Nobody see him now, he'll find him again, Bentley gone. Then after you, if he disappear, who the world is that them eight year old in that hospital right now? As a father, you'd have sleep at children's hospital. You would have sleep there. Yeah. Still, I want to go to man. People, you see right now, my big question is, what is the main reason behind this killing? Because Daniel Rowe was killed by her stepmother. Coyote Satchel was with Daniel Rowe's father. They had a relationship. So I am wondering what that man did Coyote Satchel for Coyote Satchel to go and take his daughter from a school and then bring her somewhere. Go dirt her. Me just not understand what could have caused that if your stepmother kill her stepdaughter, an innocent eight year old, no lady of a dead of prison. Because what you do, it can not do again. It can not bother do. Me I tell you. But there is still questions because why she do it? Why she did it? Me I go play one interview where Andre Steven did call the father last year them time there. Me I go play it, me I go hear it because trust me people, it's serious. The woman plea guilty. Yes, she had to because she knew say, she did something wrong. But who was the driver of the car? Who was the other man in the car? Because remember, the little boy said, had the stepmother and the father come pick up Daniel from the school. Daniel dead, so she can't talk nothing. How the little boy say, and here they know, the stepmother plead guilty. So, uh, the little boy no wrong. Him no wrong. Him no wrong. People, listen this. And tell me what you think. Because I don't know why the woman go kill the little picnic. Hello. Hi, good morning, Corporal Rowe. Yes. My name is Andre Stevens. How are you doing, sir? Yes, Andre. I'm not doing good. My daughter is dead. I'm aware. Sincere condolences to you. Yeah. Um. The whole idea was to, to talk to you in regards to some allegations out there on social media. Mm -hmm. That was brought to my attention. So now what? she's dead, and as I speak, I don't even know. So where were you at the time? I was at Crossroads. I leave from my house in Portmore from about February because I have some issues with my, with my brother there, and I just decided to look here. I you know, want to reach the point where mm -hmm. In the news to murder him, and in the news to him murder me. So you were having disputes with your brother? Yes. 
So when did you leave this location in Portmore? About February. About February. So you start residing in Kingston? Yes. What where do you which 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 are the locations you work? Which are the locations I do yeah, work? Which which police station are you based? Um I am on leave, sick leave now. Mm-hmm. For um, almost two years now. Oh you're ill. Right? Yes. And my illness not really allow me to be that mobile anyway. Do you would you want to tell me what kind of illness you're suffering from? No, no. You're a social media man and me no know what you're going to say. Me no look sympathy. I'm worse now. Look, now look nobody for too deep in my life. I'm a very, very private person. But the reason why I'm going to reach out to you is because that situation here is a compound my my grief. That make matters worse, hard for me to deal with. So what's your relationship like with the mother? It's not good. Matter of fact, I don't communicate with her any time. I just lodge money to her account. So you, how often you lodge money to the account? As I get paid. So on average, how much money you send per month to the child? That I'm not going to tell you. I just know I send, send what I can afford to send. Yeah, but in average, I was just wondering, like, and, I'm, Andre, Andre. I'm talking to you all in confidence. I just want to understand the background of what? everything that is happening. If you it's trust not me, enough because I really don't get enough. I have three children, with three different women, and because of that, my money have to split. And now that I'm sick, it makes matters even worse. So, is it a critical, critical illness? Yes. But it's manageable. Are you on your medications? Always. Wow. And you're getting your checkups and things like that? My, 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 on, on everything with when I come on to make my health. So with all of that, you can't go back to work? Or is it that you fall sick at times? I was, I was, uh, Told that I should resume duties, but there seems to be some administrative issues there. I don't know what it is. So, hmm. Hmm. so on the day in which your daughter was abducted, mm-hmm. were you in any interactions with her? Nope. Nope. Never know anything at all until I reach reached a children's hospital. I got calls from two. Two police persons who live in, in the, the community that I live in, in, in Portmore. Mm-hmm. And uh, they told me that I need to head to Children's Hospital because of my daughter. Nobody couldn't tell me why. Nobody. I don't know nothing until when I reach them. Mm-hmm. And me and her mother end up in a confrontation because of that, because she on her phone, on her phone, and my beggar give me a good time to talk to me and tell me what she know because at 21 years now, I'm there in the force. Mm-hmm. I know people, people everywhere I work, people love me. Everywhere I work. So, oh, so you're saying based on your relationships, you could gather more information if she talked to you? Uh, if all I wanted was an update as to what she know. So, because me never know, me, never, me, me just never know, me walk, 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 me go to hospital blind. Last two, me just no know. Me have no knowledge about nothing. When them tell me, say, I cut them, cut their throat. Hmm. Them tell me, say, I fight to fight, fight them off. You know, I don't care. Then, the following day, me hear, say, I dumped them down par, left her for dead. Hmm. And me just never know nothing. But there are arguments going around that you are a suspect. Yeah, yeah that's, that is what I, I, I've heard as well. 
So where are those arguments coming from? I couldn't tell her. I don't even look. I don't even know this, the, the social media site where, where, where they're. Like you can pause and answer, answer a call because somebody somebody's supposed to come test me today. All right. All right. I think the same person will reach out to you to, 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 to talk to me. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. now, you're supposed to recognize I want to talk to you already. Even so, my name is Norval Ro. I tell you something. You seem to be on a mission to help to destroy me. And I don't know what it is or why you have embarked on that path. But I beg you, don't leg on my name. Leg on my name. You sing Pam 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 Maitland, Maitland get locked up and whatever. Me no business with you and that. Get me. You provide a platform and to me it's more entertainment than actual 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 um social inquiry. I can phrase it as delicately as I can. I more for provide mix up blend you have these people here a little for my name and you are joining with them have we ever met mr stevens have we ever met before do you know me you have listened and you have speculated and you have assumed and you have basically joined in slandering my name now I tell you something, but Jamaican, most Jamaicans would even know. I mean, name of pick me. Me, name her. None are named them, and her mother gave. Me, name of pick me. We don't call her everything else except what she named. She named Daniel. Daniela, not Daniela. She don't name Daniela. Right? You know why she was named that? Not even her mother of her clue. She was named April. Her mother might remember. When you keep on a harp and whether or not you have AIDS, as if that's a crime in and of itself. The last time me checked, me see one Gleaner report about 30,000 people supposed to have it. That I was Gleaner said. Now, are you and the rest of Jamaica? going to be saying that these 30,000 people are all murderers and then if you take on a head out on a ass okay me love my picnic it's because our mother let me tell you our mother scheme and manipulate her way into my house she goes as far as to tell me say our auntie where you entertain the dog of demolish the house and that is the main reason why she reached at my yard because at no point in time would have left my picnic at roadside no time at all me hear she talk about how me and Bill mother this and Bill mother that if I take up my phone right now I can talk to anyone of my two Bill mother them anyone almost any time Take up my phone, I can talk to anyone of my two boy picking them who are alive. Anytime. I put things in place for them. I want to sing for my name. I want to know the destruction and trauma I want to bring to me and my family. I want to know. I want to have any clue whatsoever what, what I'm doing. Just for what? Mix up and blend up. I leave this girl and may have my reasons, she know the reasons. May have records we deal with that. Records as to the why. Me no go back to the to her. Me no go back to her. We no communicate. You understand me? In regards to 
she being arrested as much as the JCF will probably not comment on it let me tell you I provided names addresses photographs descriptions of women that have been involved with and notice the word involved it's past tense past tense no what is the purpose what is for an agenda when not get it when we do uno when we do you in particular because outside I forget your likes and your views tell me what is it because I'm quite sure that you did not know April you understand me I'm sure about that I'm sure that you being so abused and traumatized by your past life story you really don't give a damn about anybody I suggest that you seek psychological counseling some therapy to deal with that instead of trying to destroy other people now recently you claim to say a woman who is your mother was murdered tell me how that felt tell me because you see if if you did feel any semblance of grief you'll be very very careful about trying to inflict the same sort of trauma on other people apparently apparently you know you know feel no way about how she did you know feel no way so she gone 